say that breastfeeding is not always easy. There are days when I just flat out hate it because we have those moments. But it is always worth it. In today's episode, we are going to learn how moms can power through the struggles of breastfeeding from our very special guest who has been inspiring breastfeeding moms. Watch until the end for a bonus tip which all moms need to hear. May kasama ka today sa chino champion niya talaga ang breastfeeding. Everybody, let us please welcome our celebrity mommy for today, Colleen Garcia Crocker. Hello guys, Hi, thank Colleen. you so much for having me. It's so great to be here for this purpose. I know. Yes. Oh my gosh, we have so much to talk about mm-hmm. because you are well, two years old, almost two years old, ka ng mom. Yes, yes. Dibas, kamusta ang iyong breastfeeding journey? Did you immediately get the hang of it? I don't know if anyone does. Apart from spreading awareness um, on the benefits of breastfeeding, mm-hmm. I wanted to talk more also about yung how hard it is at the start, especially because so many moms give up because they think they don't have milk. And yes. oftentimes, it's actually not the case. So with me, um, I expected it to go smoothly. My mom breastfed me. So mm. it was just a given for me that I'm going to breastfeed, period. You know, okay. um, whatever happens, I'm going to breastfeed. And mm. when I gave birth, I didn't expect to have such a hard time. Uh-huh. We tried to latch him right away, right? And I already had my doula there, si Irina. Right. And she was, I mean, she was great. She was trying to help me. Mm. And the baby wasn't latching. <laughs> so, I ayaw niya latch And I said, why? Diba? Did like, you get, what did you feel then? Nung ayaw niya mag-latch, feeling mo ba may mali sa'yo? Parang ayo mas nung una na lang yung worry ko na ayoko magutom siya. But then they were also explaining to me na there is that room for trial and error at the start. Kasi right. nga kakagaling lang from the ano from the womb. So meron pa siyang from the placenta na busog, kumbaga busog pa yung baby. And he doesn't need so much milk. And that's something then that um, a lot of people end up quitting breastfeeding because they feel like they're not producing enough milk. And right. the, the truth is, at the start, konting konti lang talaga yung kailangan right. because it's the colostrum. Mm-hmm. So that that was explained to me, and I'm so privileged and I was so blessed to have these people there explaining it to me because right. I can't imagine how it would have been if I were alone. Diba? I agree. And sometimes hand. also when the people around you are not knowledgeable about it, yes. they would convince you to like, I or yes. mo na lang yan. And I don't, I don't frown upon people who do that mm. because sometimes you really just have to. Yeah. But it's just for, for me, no? sometimes mali yung reason yeah. na binibigay sa'yo na no, parang wala ka pang kasi, milk. But they yes. really want to try, but then they're told that they can't. Yes. And when you're told by people who are more informed than you are supposedly that you can't, then you start to believe that. And si Irina, she knew that I really wanted to and that, you know, it was my mission really to do it. You know, <laughs> I had to do it. So she helped me. And that's why it's so important to choose your team. Right. You, know, you have to have the same goals. They I have to know. Agree. Yeah, they have to know exactly. You know what you want to happen, so that if it can't happen, they'll try to help you. So with me, what happened with me? Why he couldn't latch is because I had inverted nipples. What? <laughs> and that's something that you know what normally I wouldn't talk about. Yeah, but I didn't have it before. I, I didn't, didn't have it before. So is there a condition that it just happens when you're pregnant? Ganun ba yon? I I think in my case that my body was shutting down because I was so tired and it, it was just not popping out, you know? It was just oh. flat and it was not popping out. Google, you know, <laughs> so Did it eventually pop out? So what I had to do that I would have never figured out on my own is because I, I got um, a, a lactation counselor, right. so Abby. So I never thought even that I would need one. Mm-hmm. So what happened is she recommended that I um, use nipple shields. Um, I just used it and then it was so hard. It was so hard. Okay, what makes it hard for you? It, just, okay, I mean, the reason also sometimes why you choose to breastfeed is it's a lot more convenient. You just put the baby and then he starts oh, nursing, diba? Yun na yun. But with, the, with the, this, bagong baby and everything, you know, first-time parents, we had to sterilize after Bakit every mas use. Bakit mas mahira pa ngayon, no? Parang yeah. ganun yung feeling. Oo. Yeah. And I will tell you this story, okay? So, we, we were doing that and he, Billy, was helping me through everything. Mm-hmm. Kasi, um, 
I was so new to it. I didn't know how to carry a baby properly. Yeah, oh, oh. I, I was so scared. And si Billy mahilig sa bata, so he knew all of that. So he was helping me. Like, minsan hindi pa ako makatayo because, you know, of everything going on down there. So right. I was laying down. Siya yung, you know, he was the one who would hand me the baby and really help me position the baby. Kasi there was also what a specific way naman. to put, Ay, you know, a specific way to we put love the We love Billy in. all the more now. Dito sa si Smart talaga. Parenting Pam, talagang chini cheer namin ng mga tatay na he was, such great support. There was a good two weeks where sinalo ni Billy lahat. He was doing everything. So many things can go on sa ating breastfeeding journey and this is yes. why it's so helpful to hear your story. Because yes. they think, eh, ang galing-galing naman no, ni Colleen. It's, it's so easy for it's her. So it's so hard. Not. It was so hard. <laughs> like, when he finally, it just happened one day mm-hmm. na the nipple shield fell off and he latched on his own. Then we were like, oh, and we, I know. he started crying. <laughs> Billy just <laughs> burst <laughs> and started crying. <laughs> and he was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Oh, oh glory and honor to you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> next, <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. Nagpoop na ba siya? Nagpoop na siya. Yeah. Yung mga iniiyakan mo, no? When they're babies. He legit cried. Like, he burst into tears talaga. But yeah. I wanted to know that you, don't pump. Yeah. And you don't pump. use bottles. My yeah. gosh, from a rough start to now, yay! I nothing. think, honestly, because my lactation right. counselor, she really guided me and she told me na as much as possible the first six weeks, don't use anything like the haka or the pump or anything so that your body will learn how to regulate how much milk is needed for the right. baby. Yeah. So I did that and then I just never, I used the bottle because Abby said as much as possible direct is always best because your body yes. can can tell what the baby needs and mm-hmm. if it's coming from a bottle you know there's that that connection it's is lost yeah it Uh-oh. is yeah did you ever collect so I did have a lot of bags of milk and my freezer was overflowing but my dad actually had a baby a month after me and then you gave your milk all of my milk would go to my little sister. So Aww. she's also half and half. She would have formula and then, because her, her mom couldn't breastfeed. Can I just so, tell you guys, if you're overflowing with milk and you don't want to use it for your baby, just keep it mm-hmm. because someone will always need it. Oh, my second you're never going to run out of people who need breastfeed. Well, lived on the milk of their mummies for mm-hmm. about two, three months. Yeah. When I was trying to establish my supply, yeah. I lived on the nation. And you know, that was such a lifesaver. So yeah. please, kung kaya nyo i-collect yung mga milk nyo, hindi na magagamitin ng anak nyo, you can yeah. do it for somebody else. But, ito pag-usapan natin. Kasi kapag nagbe-breastfeed ka, gusto mo kumain. <laughs> kumain na kumain na kumain. Yeah. Were you also the same? Yeah, oh. I wasn't eating enough. I was eating healthy, but I wasn't eating enough for all the milk that I was producing and, and giving Amari. So they said, you have to eat even more than when you're pregnant. <gasps> So I ate so like I get, when I gave birth, I actually was slimmer than when, when I started you were, breastfeeding oh, oh, you because pee. I gained. I you know, I know people say that you lose when you breastfeed, but for me, I think I gained. Uh, you yeah, know, I I feel the same way because you just really have to keep up with the food. But yeah. how how can you be this way? <laughs> Honestly, no, discipline, I, I'm, discipline I'm asking talaga. because some moms might want to know. Right? Yeah, if you no, have and it's, tips, and I mean, of course, natin? it's so valid. We all want to right. look our best as much as possible. Mm. Valid, yeah. Mommy, if you want to be sexy, valid, yeah. It's okay. It's not. You're not vain. You're not selfish for wanting that for yourself. I mean, even just the thought of you reclaiming your body, okay. it's not your fault if you want to look a certain way. You okay. can't blame so yourself. So how did for you that. do it? A small baby will yeah. require many feeds in a day. Yes. How did you even put in like the exercise and the eating and all that? Well, okay, I have to be honest, genetics definitely plays a big role. So Good. I lose weight quickly, I gain it quickly also though. Mm-hmm. So I, that's why I have to be disciplined talaga. So, and, and I'm naturally muscular. Mm. So Ooh, talaga. <laughs> yeah, I'm naturally muscular. My, my whole me. dad side, um, they're athletic build talaga. And fitness is really a part of my life. I can't live without it. I can't live without doing something, even if it's just being on the stationary bike. Yeah. That's my favorite workout, just being Uh-oh. on a stationary bike. So I make sure that I move. If I don't move, honestly, I get depressed. 
So what would you tell other moms out there? What's a good fitness starter for you? Whatever you can do. Whatever you enjoy doing. Because I wouldn't say like, do weights, do cardio, and you don't actually enjoy it. So you have to find something. Agreed. There's something everyone enjoys. You know, even if it's moving around the house and organizing, yes. that's exercise. Okay, so find what gives you yeah. joy for and what, the you fitness have to aspect. Move because it's it's not even just for you to lose weight. It's for the circulation of Agreed. your body, mobility. You don't want to lose your mobility or flexibility. You have to keep moving, talaga. And of um eating, eating right. Right. You have to eat right. That. It's really more of awareness, right. you know, because if you're aware, then you know now, okay, if I'm gonna have this, I know this, you know, yeah, it's I this guess much it, it does a lot. When you feel like you, you look at your plate and you're like, this is too much. Like this, then you're aware it's this too is, much. This, this small dessert could count as an entire meal. Mm. Yung ganon. So, parang when you look at it that way, it's like, Nga, I'd rather have the entire healthy meal. Agreed. So, the ba? Like, For so much more, no? Yes. Yung volume. Yes. Ka. But also, so that you know you're not under your required Correct. amount of calories. So, you have to meet that also. You have to meet your daily caloric needs. And then, um, what I do is, I don't deprive myself. So, if I do want San Serval, I'll have a bit. I'll have a bit. <laughs> I have so croissants. Like, croissants are my favorite. Ba? Yes. So, you know, it's just in moderation lang talaga. Because if you deprive yourself, what happened to me before is like I, I would get so these, these um, diet plans, mm. diba? And it's not satisfying. I ended up gaining weight. Because I'd eat the diet plan and then I'd eat no parin what I want to eat. Ka pa rin eh, yes. no. You Ito. might as well eat what you want to eat. Agree. Yeah. I wanted to go back lang because there are some moms naman who can't breastfeed at all. Yeah. For whatever reason. We're yeah. not going to ask that anymore. My mm-hmm. reason sila. Do you have any message for them? Honestly, there were so many times when I wanted to give up, but mm-hmm. I knew I wasn't going to. But mm-hmm. I, 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 I really wanted to. And there are times, even until now, you know, two years after, when they said it was going to get easy, and it does get easy, but it's easier. But it's easier, not completely. But it's not easy. <laughs> and there are days when I just flat out hate it. And it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be sitting there feeding your child and to absolutely hate it. You know, because we have those moments. And you have to acknowledge that. You have to embrace that. Otherwise, you're just going to feel guilty. You're just going to keep it inside. And you're going to think that you're a bad mom. And you're not. Because it's totally valid for you to feel that way. Because this is our body. Even now, I still have a hard time sometimes. Um, there are days, especially because we don't do bottles, diba? Like, yeah. I have to I have to consider it all the time. I can't go out at night. Right. If I do, I have to be home a certain time. And if he wakes up, he's inconsolable. No one else can um, comfort him except for me. I am me. so happy that you're so hard. sharing this because a lot of moms, when they see pictures of happily breastfeeding babies, they think know, it's, so it's hard. not. It's so hard. <laughs> they don't see all the nights that you're crying, you're in tears, and you have blood, sweat, and tears. Yes, literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you can't do it, and, and in that whole process, what I'm trying to say is there have been times when I've, I myself have wanted to quit. So I, I realize that uh, this is why. This is why not everyone does it. Right. This is why. Because, Agreed. I mean, not everyone has the capacity to. Some some of us have to work, you yes. know. Some yes, of us have, I agree. have to, um, some of us have to do things na hindi mo pwede i-balance with mm. breastfeeding, diba? Or whatever reasons there are. Maybe you just can't mentally take it. You know, and that's, that's a valid okay. reason as well, diba? Mm-hmm. You have to take care of yourself. And um, it was my aunt who told me this, and it really stuck to me. She said she really wanted to breastfeed, she tried, and then she ended up giving up because she said a happy mom is a good mom. Right. And she felt that because she was so miserable doing it, she wasn't being a good mom anymore. You know what I love about you is that you're validating everyone. Not mm-hmm. only those who are like your experience, but even those yeah. who have... Uh, experience experienced it differently from you. Yes, because I mean, you know, if your mental health is affected, Agreed. and you take yourself, what what will happen if Uh-oh. you take your own life? Uh-oh. Because you're just so depressed, diba? Diba? And you sana you just gave your baby okay na ako. for you na milk, milk. for milk. 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 milk, iba or what well, have you? Oh, pero ito tano. Ano mas mahirap, breastfeeding or home birth? Oh my god. <laughs> 